the board meeting this past week, and after going over the board, we were kind of looking at your evaluation. And well, I'll tell you the truth, you're just not cutting it. Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple right. strip. As we already know the great news about Greg Roman. Um, you know, uh, he decided that he was going to go. Um, for different opportunities. Um, no telling what that's going to be. This is good news. This is um, interesting news from the press conference as well. A lot of things came from the press conference. Hoff is still the coach, so hopefully he just don't mess this up. Hopefully he can rebound himself and do the right thing. Go spike leeway and do the right thing thing now with Greg Roman gone um, I, uh, in the press conference he mentioned a couple of things you know offensive line good I mean Eric DaCosta I should say um, mentioned offensive line good and they're gonna pretty much redo the wide receiver room so it's going to be a lot of cuts. It's going to be a lot of um, not re-signing. Um, I believe Dev is going to stay, though, because uh, he's special team. So. And he made, he made some good plays, you know, when he was out there sometimes. But, yeah, so it's just they said so many interesting things that for us, a wide receiver. And it was funny that. Hobb says he doesn't, you know, pay attention. He said it before. He doesn't pay attention to the outside media and all what they saying on the internet and all of that. But Eric Lacosta comes around and says, "We see what the fans are wanting. We see that and kind of enlighten that they know a lot of fans want D Hop. A lot of the questions was kind of curved to, hey, if Lamar signs his contract." Will there be enough money for a wide receiver? All the signs are pointing D hop, you know. And obviously, I would like that. I would like that signing if that is possible. But also, going to the offensive coordinator. Now, Hobbs, he, it's like Hobbs can't help himself on saying some stuff stupid things like he said something in the terms of the passing game was the passing scheme or whatever was was excellent and I'm sitting here like fool do you just lie like and then he also said like the, the scheme and everything he wants to keep it close to the scheme and all that and I'm like what like hopefully you just talking and not really meaning that. But on the good terms, he said he's going to, a lot of people is going to want to apply for this offense coordinator position. And I'm like, really, I think a lot of people will want to work with Lamar because they know he's special. Now, we have to get an offense coordinator that, to, in my opinion, specializes in passing get these wide receivers open get these wide receivers more spaced out so Lamar can just dissect and and if what he wants is not there then he can run because it's so spaced out hopefully we do not get a offense coordinator that literally wants the quarterback to run the ball the majority wants the quarterback to run the ball more than the running back. And also, I saw you, I seen a tweet. A tweet came out, and Lamar said, thank you. Emory Hunt said, let me just get this out, 
out here before folks start wrongly discussing the Ravens' search for a new offense coordinator. Lamar Jackson ran a pro-style offense in college at Louisville under Bobby Petrino. Now, and Lamar replied to that, thank you. To me, he is hinting that he wants to go back to that style, the pro style. And that would help out the wide receivers. That would help show Lamar is that, that pocket passer. Because we know he was, what, top five, I believe, before in pocket passing, QBR and everything like that. And also, a rare thing happened is I actually agree with Bartholomew Scott. Bartholomew Scott, I actually believe. If I can find a clip, I'm going to put it on here. Well, now listen, this is Ravens find themselves in unfamiliar territory. They have never had a generational talent at the quarterback position. This is an organization that won two Super Bowls with just guys that were guys. And I'm not trying to disrespect Trent Dilfer or Flacco, but they're not Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is easily top 10 greatest Raven of all time with what he's done. They have to take a page out of the Pittsburgh Steelers book. The Pittsburgh Steelers is a team with a philosophy that is on defense and running the football. Yes, but when they got Ben Roethlisberger, they recognized that he was a generational talent. They did what they have to do. They surrounded their best player with the best pieces around. They went out and got Antonio Brown. They got Emmanuel Sanders. They had Santonio Holmes. They did those things. The Ravens have to recognize that they have to put the pieces around Lamar Jackson because I believe out of all the great quarterbacks there are in the league, I think Lamar Jackson is the most talented. He hasn't, he's the only one who hasn't had the opportunity to show it to everybody because they haven't put the pieces around him for him to show his arm talent. We know what he is as a runner. I think he can be just as good and dominant as a passer as well. Bart, before they put pieces around him, they have to sign him. Yes. So are you, you're saying yes. they need to it's, sign it's him no, to a huge it's, contract. There's no way you let Michael Jordan, there's no way that you let that type of talent leave your building. Lamar Jackson is the most talented football player in the NFL. We have seen, we haven't seen the tip of the iceberg. Get this man DeAndre Hopkins. Get him the weapons. And that's what the frustration comes from. He is the best, most talented football player I have ever seen on a football field. And he's being hamstrung because he's forced to play left-handed because you're forcing him to run the ball. Mm. And he's more than that. He's more sophisticated than that. If, they, gotta be, if they guarantee him $250 million, can he get the pieces that you want? I mean, I mean, Patrick Mahomes has a quarter of a billion dollars. He got it. Well, that's like, just give years. DeAndre Hopkins on the end of a deal. Give him a guy. But he said the Ravens pretty much, you know, we all know, they pretty much copy what Pittsburgh do. Pittsburgh used to just run like crazy, had a, some great, great running backs and stuff like that. And then when they got bent, uh, Rossenberger, they went more of the passing concept. Lamar, they, the Ravens should go to the passing concept. They're still stuck in that run phase one-dimensional so and however did say he's gonna ask for Lamar Jackson's input and everything like that in my opinion I would have Lamar I would give him a list of candidates get his opinion and I will see would he would he like to be there for the interview to see how Lamar and the offense coordinator mesh how they get along with each other do they got that, you know what I'm saying? Is it going to connect? Is it going to click? Is he going to listen to what Lamar wants and not listen to his ego? As Greg Roman did. So we got to be on the lookout for that. I see Brian left. I see some people say uh, Byron left, which uh, what's a uh, uh, Cardinals old coach, uh, Kingsbury. I've seen, I've seen a couple of people mention him. Hey, they can get somebody from uh, college. It's, it's so many, so many opportunities out there. They can get somebody from San Francisco that's under Cal Shanahan and kind of mold and kind of copy their offensive style, bring that here and put their own little twist with it. I would love that. Man. But it's going to be interesting to see where 
and who we get. They talked about the uh, contract. It, it's going to get done. I know so many people don't want Lamar to be a Raven, but it's, it's going to happen. I think, a, uh, and I hope, I hope a change is coming. We're stuck with Harves. Just got to live with it. But hey, Greg Roman is gone. Hopefully he don't hire the family tree or friends of the family tree. They actually do like they did with Gary Kubiak and actually hire someone that is really good and that's going to really help out the offense. Because Gary Kubiak did that. He really helped out Flacco. He really helped out the offense. Then it was gone. He went to go win the Super Bowl as a head coach. But hopefully um, we just see. We see if y'all know any good offense coordinators that's, um, let's say, just free agents that's not, they don't have a job right now that will fit good with Lamar, put it in the comments so I can uh, look them up, kind of check their uh, check they style. Um Cause if, if we were to interview Brian Leftwood, I really wouldn't have no problem with that. Um, to me, hey, he won the Super Bowl, what, his first year as a offense coordinator, I believe. And it's not his fault. Tom Brady is, you know, getting old and got to find somebody to blame. Him. He's that victim. So I really wouldn't mind that. But, yeah, so y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think of the whole situation. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. You already know. God bless.